What's up? I'm Troubleshooter. Welcome back to another video. In this one, we'll be talking about a Hyper-V issue when you're trying to load up an old virtual machine or just a virtual machine on another computer. If you're running into an error when you, say, import your virtual machine and choose its folder location, so H Hyper-V, let's go with, I think it was this one here. If you were to try and select the folder, then import the actual machine itself and register it when it's placed over here. If I tried to apply a checkpoint change or even just fire up the machine, it was very unhappy to say the least. I was getting an error message saying the Hyper-V key protector could not be unwrapped. What does this mean and how do we fix it? Well, in order to fix this simple error, there's a few ways around it. First of all, if you encrypted the drive using some kind of a certificate, you'll find a link to this post in the description down below where a similar issue was reached and scrolling down to this section here, Cerberus talks about a fix for this. You'll need both access to your old device and your new device. On your old device, you'll get the certificate for your virtual machines, export it, and on machine number two, you'll be importing it. This, of course, is only possible if it's a separate physical machine or you still somehow have access to that version of Windows, etc. For me, I reinstalled Windows and luckily I didn't encrypt my drive, so it's some other kind of issue. Once again, you'll find a link to this down below. If you're like me and you haven't done anything extra to encrypt your drives, BitLocker, etc., what else can we do? Well, the absolute simplest thing that we can do is create a new virtual machine and simply just choose these old drives. Let me just delete this one. Let's go to new followed by virtual machine. And in here, we'll give it a name. So I'll call it Win11 Dev Restore, just so we know what it is. It's the restored version of this here. Then we'll choose to store it in a certain location. This can be anywhere on your system, but for me, I'll be placing it right next to the original files in the same folder in a folder I've made just called Restore. So I'll select and click Next. I'll choose Generation 2 or whatever generation matches my existing virtual machine. Set the amount of memory. Seems about right. Choose an Ethernet connection. And now we can choose what drive we want to use. Usually when you're creating a virtual machine, you'll make a new drive. But instead, click Use an Existing, click Browse, and navigate across to where we have our previous Hyper-V drives. So for me, it's 111 Dev, 111 Dev, Virtual Hard Disks, and in here we have the VHDX file. I'll simply select this, open, next, and finish. Now it'll create the virtual machine with the base drive for our previous virtual machine here. So all of these restore points will technically be lost for now. We can always restore them later on. If we were to fire this up and connect to it, you'll see that we boot into Windows just fine. Everything seems to be happy. However, of course, I've lost everything that I did on here, or at least lost whatever I progressed further from based on the other checkpoints. So for now, everything is pretty blank and empty. Turn off this machine and we'll merge our old checkpoints so we can get access to them again. If this old machine works for you, you can right click a checkpoint and choose export to save a location for this drive to be merged to and export it to. So for example, test. And when we select folder and click export, it'll basically merge this checkpoint with the base drive and export it somewhere. But in my case, it didn't. So we'll need to manually merge new checkpoints. In order to do so, navigate to where your drive is located, virtual hard disks. And in here, you can see my hard disk as well as a bunch of checkpoints that apply to it. If we sort by date modified, you'll get an idea of which one was created when. Now I've already merged the correct checkpoint with this to verify that it works, but obviously you'll have one or two of these checkpoints depending on how many you have here. In order to merge a checkpoint and permanently save it with the original virtual hard disk file, we'll need to open up a new PowerShell window. So right click at the very top and choose copy address up here. Then hit start, type in terminal on Windows 11, otherwise PowerShell if you don't see terminal. And when you see Windows PowerShell, we can start typing in commands. If not, choose the drop down followed by Windows PowerShell. I'll type in the drive letter. In my case, it's H, so H colon, and hit enter. Now that we're in H drive, I'll type CD space, and inside of quotes, we'll paste in the path. You can either right click or hit control V to paste, hit enter, and now we're in the correct place with all of our virtual hard disk files and checkpoints. Let's get to merging. How do we do this? Well, depending on your setup, this could take a bit longer or a bit shorter, and preferably you should have these drives on a SSD, otherwise is gonna be a bit slow. We'll start with get VHD, followed by a checkpoint name. So in my case, let's go with, I don't know, this one over here, as it's the biggest and the latest one. We'll paste it in. If it has spaces, surround it with quotes and hit enter. Now you'll see some information about this checkpoint. For me, it says, this is where it's located, the computer name, 
VHD type. So in this case, differencing means that it changes the original file, etc. Parent path. This points us to the parent of this checkpoint. And in this case, it's the full hard drive. If we'd like to merge this checkpoint with the full drive, how do we do so? Well, type in merge hyphen VHD hyphen path with a capital P and we'll paste in the virtual hard drive's name or location. So I'll copy this and paste it in. Because we're already in this folder, I don't need to include the full path. And as it hasn't got spaces, I don't need to surround it. Quotes, hit space, then type in hyphen destination path, capital D, capital P. And once again, we'll be pasting in the name of the original file. So in this case, it's the parent drive. Now, when we hit enter, it'll merge the changes that this checkpoint has with the original file and essentially overwrite the original drive. When we hit enter, this is going to take quite a bit to complete. Mine failed as I've already merged the correct checkpoint with the correct drive. But if you see something like this, then double check that the parent path isn't actually another checkpoint file. If it is, you can merge one checkpoint to the next checkpoint along the chain all the way until you finally reach the original drive. That's it. It's pretty simple. I'd highly recommend making a backup of this folder here, or at least the drives you're messing around with, as it does override the original file and if you hit some kind of error where it crashes you will lose all of your progress and unfortunately probably all of your data too so i have a backup here where i have everything saved just to make sure now that we've merged our checkpoint with our drive and essentially created an updated drive we can head back to our restored machine connect to it and start it up and this time you should see that when it boots up successfully that on the desktop we should have all of our files and progress back the background is already different so hopefully everything is back and yes it is that's great we now have all of our data back obviously to that checkpoint and it's now permanently merged with our main drive if you'd like to keep this state just make sure that you create a checkpoint where you are just like this and you'll have it saved once more for the future but anyways that's really it you now know how to restore lost virtual machines that don't want to load up because of some key error and if you choose to restore the way that we did by creating a new virtual machine you also now know how to restore checkpoints if for some reason you can't do it in Hyper-V. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.